Hello guys, it's Saturday morning and I'm going to work on, um, I'm going to change the tire and I'm going to show you on a tractor, in my case a garden tractor, how to fix, well, the cheap way to fix draw bar twist, you know that little draw bar you put on the back and everybody tries to put a ball on it and as soon as you take off it twists. Well, I got a fix for it and it's real simple didn't cost me anything. I'll show it to you. But first, I'm going to change the tire. Finally got it. Harder than I thought, always is. Okay, so that tire thing, man, that was a mess. I thought it was gonna be easier than that. I was almost too embarrassed to show you guys how I did it. But let me show you this. This is just a little tip or something to consider. So this is the garden tractor I bought the other day. It's a big yard man with hydraulic lifts on it. But anyway, I had this um, draw bar. And of course, you know, there's such a thing as draw bar twist. Um, but this is how I fixed it right here. So I just took this. I think that, you know, that could be a TV bracket. I'm not real sure. But I, but it's got these, but the hole's not tight. So it's got room to move. And that one does too. You just can't see it. You know, I've got washers on there. And I don't have them just real tight. Because this thing's got to be able to move up and down. So, you know, I'm not going to start it up in here, but look at there, it, you know, it's not going to twist. Um, and that's easy to remove. Now, I'll probably, now that I got it figured out, I'll probably put pins in there. So it'll be easier to remove, which, because that's got a lock nut on it. So it's going to be hard to do by hand. But, you know, that's just simply it. I know they make those things that clamp on here and grab onto it. And that's good too. But I had that hanging on the wall. And now, and I've already moved the 18 foot trailer with it, which before you couldn't do. So it's not twisting. So you see the, the give it's doing. And that's what you need to go all the way up and down. So anyway, that's my quick draw bar twist fix. Now I'll take my angle grinder and cut it off flush with this so I don't tear up my okay so I worked on it a little bit more and so what I did is I tightened this one up because that's a bolt but I put this pin in there and it's probably two or three inches long and that gives enough so when this when this goes up and down, you know, it can shift with it. So I don't know that I accurately showed you guys what this twist is all about. I mean, I guess you know, but this is the initial setup. That's just what, how, how it comes. I added this. So without this contraction, it would twist all the way over. See what I'm saying? So if you hook your trailer up to it, it's gonna go boom, just like that. And it's gonna bend something, mess something up. It's not gonna be good. If it's a real light trailer, it might not hurt. So that's why I got this long pin in there. And it's long on purpose. I don't want it tight because when this goes up and down, put that pin back in there, it can flex. So that's what the problem is. Now, it's not going anywhere, right? So that's the fix. This is out of the way. So that's what the deal is right there. So let me uh, start it. And show you.
So that is draw bar twist. That's the solution I have. Like I say, you can go to the tractor supply and buy a clamp that goes over this and then somehow locks into this. And it's probably better um, because you don't have this bar going across. But hey, I had that bar hanging up in the shop. Like I say, it probably came from a TV bracket or something like that. And it works good. Didn't want to twist and it probably never will. Easy to take off. So hey, I'm just having fun out here. That's draw bar twist. Um, hey, if you like garden tractor stuff, I got a bunch of them. I got a whole carport full of them. You know, I buy them, kind of fix them up. Sometime I keep them, sometime I sell them. Just depends on what my mood is. Um, this one's gonna be a keeper for a while and because I'll move that trailer around. Because otherwise, I have my truck out here. But you know, you don't wanna get in your truck every time you wanna move that trailer around the yard anyway. Um, that's just a lot of hassle. I don't have a backup camera in that. That's a 2008, no backup camera. So um, this is easy, hydraulics work. It'll lift up the front end. And that's a heavy trailer too. I mean, that's a, you can't pick it up on the front end. So anyway, if you like garden tractor stuff, subscribe to my channel. I do this stuff all the time. Uh, sometimes I fix them, sometimes I play with them. Sometimes I make goofy little contractions like that. But like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.